Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the range that we continue to be here on Bitcoin and I'll also be going over the Litecoin leading indicator which could possibly give us a heads up uh, on how to trade this again just like it did earlier in the week. Um, so let's begin firstly with the range that we are in, in here right now because I mean, well, let's just take a review. I mean, clearly we've, we've been very, very range bound for, well, this is the 12th day within this range. Um, and it's just it's just gone so perfectly. You know, my last, what is this, three or four videos that I've done on YouTube have all been about this range. And it's just, it's absolutely perfect. So that, that's why I'm going over it so much because it really is easy to trade. Uh, as we can see, from the last video, which I think was the fourth about three days ago, uh, we can obviously see that we had the Litecoin, Litecoin was moving up very strongly. Okay, and in my video I said, keep an eye on, you know, Litecoin's the leading indicator. We should now see uh, if, if if history repeats like it has been for the last year, Bitcoin push up to here. Obviously, there was there were signs of strength being above the daily and leading indicator Litecoin worked once again. And we saw Bitcoin push up to the weekly, which was obviously our very big resistance. So really, really a really nice to see Litecoin leading indicator working once again. <laughs> Seeing that push up to the weekly where we did get a rejection, a little swing failure on the last highs, getting another move down to the 618 resistance. And ultimately, uh, you know, took a little bit of time, but you saw a reaction off the 0.25 coming back up to a 618, by the way, which I'll just show you here. High to low, getting rejected off that 618 and, and ultimately moving down again to the daily. For me, this was a short, uh, so I have been shorting from, uh, my shorts were laddered from around 9,380, so 9,380 to 9,450. So I got in on that short, being my target, uh, 9,153, which is our lower daily, uh, which I closed out of that short and, and actually longed that has hit my take profit one, obviously being the two five. Uh, so I've took a little bit of risk off the table here. Uh, but yeah, I am now sat in a little long, obviously having taken profits in a little long right now. Uh, ultimately looking for around nine to, uh, sorry, yeah, 9,250 being the monthly. And then and then it's a case of, you know, are we hitting this and, and breaking back down and rejecting or can we get a nice move actually through the level? That's that's the next you know thing I'm looking at. Alternatively, alternatively is that we get a move down from this daily, close below the daily and, and head down lower. And then, well, the levels I'm looking for are around nine nine thousand and fifty. Uh, if you lose the low of the range, then around uh, eight thousand seven hundred and fifty or lower <laughs> but uh, that, that's not what I'm expecting in the medium term or, or short short term is better better word for it if we reclaim that monthly then I'll be looking back up to the 0.5 ultimately back up to the weekly um, so yeah it's a really 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 nice range to be trading here uh, before I move on to Litecoin and that leading indicator, I will just give this one today as uh, the absolutely bound to claim on one of the videos um, Daniel you you just you just saying it okay because I get I get the comments I get the comments uh, so this is one just another one. Uh, from the group, this is where I post all my trades just because I'm not posting on Twitter every day. I'm obviously active in my group every single day. Um, so yeah, this was one from when I shorted 9450 and aiming for this 9150 and today finally hit that target. Um, yeah, so that was, was all documented in my group as I was taking those shorts. Obviously, I'm not a signal group. I want to highlight that. I'm not a signal group, but I do like clarify how I'm trading the direction that I'm trading the, the trades that I'm taking not for a signal but just uh, for educational reasons I, I suppose um, so people can understand the, my thought processes and again yeah so that was a very nice 19450 target hit from 9400 um, and on to the next trade uh, which we are now within this hundred dollar range from around 9150 currently finding resistance at 9230 so you, you're in this little range here uh, about eighty dollars um, which we're looking for to break either or either to the upside claiming the, the monthly or ultimately to the downside if you lose 9150 well you can look for lower levels uh, could we look at Litecoin as a leading indicator obviously getting a little bounce at the moment but for me it's not too great uh, it's not too great. You did see this little reaction if I move out to the one hour. We did get this little reaction here with a long lower wick. But for me, the monthly is the level you want to keep an eye on. So is it? If, do you reclaim the monthly? That would be that would be uh, bullish. But if you just reject here, get another lower high and move down, then I would ultimately expect Bitcoin to move down as well. Litecoin is just a real great leading indicator. It has been for a year now. Um, so it's not one to just ignore. It's obviously you, you don't blindly trade off of it. So like when we were seeing Litecoin moving up like this, it wasn't a blind trade that we just suddenly long Bitcoin just because Litecoin's moving up. And we don't short Bitcoin just because Litecoin's moving down. But when there's technical confluences to, to see uh, these moves happening on Bitcoin, well, it's just another added reason to have more confidence in your setup. And so that's what I like to see. Um, 
you know, when I traded Bitcoin long three days ago. Uh, but ultimately now you're seeing that bit of weakness on Litecoin. So you're looking at that monthly, do you reclaim or, or are you heading down to our lower monthly, I suppose? Uh, but on the meantime in Bitcoin, literally in this, this really tight range here uh, where we could expect a break uh, pretty shortly, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, that's, I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this video. Watch out for the instant dislikers. There's bound to be one. Um, do as you please. I hope that you have enjoyed this one. And if, if you have enjoyed it, I'd appreciate the like to uh, say to them, thank you very much. Honestly, thank you so much. Hope that you've enjoyed. Hope this has been insightful and helpful for you. Um, and I will catch you in the next technical analysis video that I upload here. So thank you once again. Have a great evening and uh, cheers, everybody. Good night. Bye. <laughs>